This is going to be some blow up, lads, I can tell. I'm actually really surprised that a couple of you haven't got this so far. Prez? Who said Prez? Me. No way you couldn't get that. They're both from Prez. Oh, Shane, he's got it. But there's loads of them. Oh, wind farm. Well done, Shane. How can I not get that? Hi, I'm Neve Briggs. I'm here with Pinergy, the official energy partner of Munster Rugby. And today we have three players, Shane Daly, Calvin Nash, and Jack O'Sullivan, competing for an extraordinary rugby quiz. First round is Club Crest. Ooh. Anything that you see, just shout it out, okay? Munster. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you see. A sword. Sword, yeah. Glasgow Warriors. No, keep going. Connacht. Oh, Connacht, excellent, well done. 1-0. <laughs> okay, we're coming on to the second one now. Similar thing again, just, just say what you see and, and start calling them out. Ears. Monster. Excellent, well done, well done. I was going to go every time until I got it. That was the easiest one. What's it really like play, playing in front of a, a packed Thoman Park? Yeah, I just think it's unreal, Like especially when the last few years over COVID, when there was like no one there, you kind of just get used to it. Like, But then this year when we came back and... There was like even, we'll say just 5,000 people there for like games between ourselves. Like the atmosphere was like crazy. Like you were kind of running out and you're like, Jesus, this doesn't feel like real life. Do you know that kind of way? And like the, the, the choir is a huge part of like the home ritual, I suppose. Can you hear that in the dressing room? And like, what does it make you feel like? The choir has been unbelievable for the last few years, but also this year, the introduction of the lights and stuff like that and the yeah. music before half time, you can hear it when you're in the tunnel and stuff like that. And it's like monster kind of songs as well. It's often kind of zombie and tunes like that, like Limerick type songs. And they do get the crowd going, but also as a player, you'd be standing there and you'd hear them playing and you just want to get back out there. I think it's actually made a massive difference. Okay, third one up. This is a bit different now, so. Hello. Mm. Couch. A line. Yeah, it could be, could be a couch. Yeah. Who is a couch and a crest? <laughs> Edinburgh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Edinburgh, excellent. Was that you, Jack? Yeah, it was me. Okay, we're going on to the fourth crest now. So, have a look. Tell me what you see. A duck. Ospreys. Ospreys. Oh, oh you are good. Well done, well done. It's like a super villain. Good drive. Okay, fifth one. Uh, Calvin's winning. So let's go. let's go, guys. Come on, Limerick. What is this? Lego man. <laughs> zebra or something. Ooh. Turtles. Oh, that's yeah, a zebra. Like. Looks like a uh, hunchback in Notre Dame. Like. <laughs> so this is, it's, not, it's not an Irish team. It's not an Irish team. All okay. right, okay. Uh, uh, Treviso. Yeah. Is it Treviso? No, Benetton. Benetton, yeah. excellent. Uh, Calvin, you're a three. Shane, you're one. Jack, you're one. I leave you have this one, so let's. Let's have a look. Shield. Well done. Uh, ice cream. <laughs> McDonald's ice cream. McDonald's ice cream. Keep thinking. Is that Corcon? No. Keep thinking. Um, I'm actually really surprised that a couple of you haven't got this so far. Zebra? No. It's, 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 it's in Ireland. It's in Ireland. So... Ulster, Munster, Donald Ulster. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a province. Not all. Prez? Who said Prez? Me. No way you couldn't get that. That How is Prez. They're both from Prez. Oh, Shane, he's got it. Just in relation to that, so obviously the Schools Cup is a huge part of your development as rugby players. What are your best memories from playing with, obviously, 2E played with Prez, although you wouldn't know it from that, and Calvin, you played with all Crescent, so... Or Crescent Cobb, sorry. So explain to me, what, what are your best memories of playing School Cup? Beating Prez probably usually. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I ever lost him really, so that was good good memory. Like The beauty of School's Cup is that it's the fellas you uh, grew up with and the fellas that you went to school with for the six years. And I suppose it's, it's literally, it's cliche enough, but it's playing with your best mates and stuff like that. And it's playing in front of your best mates in the crowd who are, who are cheering you on and... All my friends were cheerleaders that year and it was just the crack around the actual games was just unbelievable. I think you can't really replicate that um, anywhere else. And do you, do you think that playing Schools Cup is important for your career? I think definitely a monster and you can see up in Leinster too, like it's an unbelievable standard, you know what I mean? You see the amount of players kind of year on year that are coming through, like, but obviously I suppose it's 
you know, it's not the be all and end all. There's there's other ways through too, through the club system. Yeah, absolutely. That's the end of our first round. Uh, Calvin, you're on three. Shane, you're one. Um, and Jack, you're at two. So we're heading into round two now. It's more caricatures of players that you might have played with or played against or watched on television. So Big smile. Big it's smile. Not, it's not Peter Mann, anyway. Do you want to go with that guess, Shane? Uh, yeah, I will so. Yes, I was going to say he loves a good death stare, but um, in this press conference, he's smiling away, and you're absolutely right. It is Peter O'Mahony. He just smiled through me off. The smile yeah. through me off. He would have went to PBC as well, uh, Shane and Jack. Yeah. Yeah. And is there that much of an age gap? Was he in school when you were in school? Uh, thank God, no, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> that legacy that he left behind in school, like played schools rugby, and now all of a sudden he's playing with Monster. Like, could you see that pathway when you were probably in school and looking up to him? I definitely think so, because like even around his year, there was him, you know, Zebo, you know, Scandal. There was a lot of players like that came through those few years. And I suppose for Pete being in the same position as me, like I suppose as a young kid as well, I just kind of wanted to try to emulate that a bit. So uh, I made it all the more believable and possible seeing him do do before you. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, second one up. Let's have a look at this. This is somebody that um. You'll definitely know. Yeah, Faf de Klerk. Oh, well done, Shane. Excellent. After they Faf won the World Cup. Yeah, in the famous Budgie Smugglers. Calvin, three. Shane, three. Jack, two. Oof. Where'd you yeah. come out um, The background to this picture is somebody doing something that um, we've missed for a long time, but we're seeing back seeing now. Zebo. Well done, Jack. Ah. Uh. Should have known with the bald head. Yeah. <laughs> He's waiting for the hair to come in. <laughs> we involved senior level when he left, I suppose, to go to wrestling. Myself and Calvin would have been in the academy yeah. um, when he was in first. We'd have played a small bit or we'd have been up around there at the time. Um, but yeah, he just brings massive energy to the dressing room. He's always up to something around the place. And is, is he really and truly the best dancer? I'd say Calvin has other things to say about that now, to be honest. <laughs> Shane's not a bad dancer either. Jasso needs a few drinks, though, to get him going. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth player. And uh, the background of this is that it's a little bit different. It's a female international rugby player. Maeve Briggs. <laughs> no, long retired now, I'm afraid. No, Lindsay Pete. No. Tara Griffin. Yes, well done. Oh. Excellent. We're going on to our second last player. I won't give you any clues because you should get this one really easy. Waiting for the hair, like, ooh, not here. The hair, he has to give it away, lads. Plays second row or back row. Plays over in England. Curry. Come on, oh, Jack. Yeah. Nathan Hughes? No. Hamish Watson? No, he, like, he's an incredible, incredible athlete. But he's so difficult to play against because he is just so annoying. <laughs> Comes through everything. Rock, small, the whole shebang. Oh. Play to the lines. This is going to be some blow up, lads, I can tell. I cannot believe you cannot see this. His well, club <laughs> is Saracens. I told you, man, I told you. How could you oh. not get that? Jack, I'm actually a little bit surprised at you. I'm not even proud of that one. Okay, we're heading on to our very last player. Longish kind of hair. Matt Hansen. Nope. <laughs> Loves a good mullet. Loves a good mullet. Hamish Watson, well done. Oh. Excellent work. Chains in the lead with five. Calvin is four. Jack, got to see something special coming out of the bag for round three. Uh, you just have three points. And as we're here with Peter G, this round is focused on sustainability. Uh, so best of luck. And the very first one is... Solar panel. Well done. Oh, that was, good. That was great. Oh, Jack's coming up strong now. Okay, here we go. Second one. Electric, Electric car. car. Well done. That was me, Sean. Sure. That's, that's, that's a toy. That, no, yeah, that was Shane. It was Shane. It was Shane. It was Shane. Was Shane. <laughs> that was definitely Shane. Okay, number three. Wind turbine. Ah, come on. Um, we're not gonna. It, it is wind something, but we're gonna go with the exact. We need the exact phrasing. Wind hill. No. Wind energy. When there's loads of them. 
Oh, wind farm. Well done, Sherry. How can I not get that? The referees are very strict in this. Everybody watching this knows that I got that. <laughs> Number four. Carbon footprint. Oh. <laughs> okay, second last one. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Ooh, good guess. But no, absolutely not. Mother. <laughs> Mother, excellent. Okay, so what's the next thing? Mother Nature. Well done. Excellent work. Let's go. Last one. Planet Earth. <laughs> okay. What are you looking at? Global warming. So keep going on that line, Calvin. Global temperatures. Uh, Not even global. Earth temperatures. Oh, I don't know. Climate change. Well done. Oh. <laughs> um, that was brilliant. Jack in third place with four points. He said it louder, so I easily got the point for the picture. <laughs> uh, so Jack, you're on four points. Calvin, you're on five points. And our winner of the Punergy Pictionary Quiz is Shane with nine points. Well on Shane. Well on.